Hi, it's Martin here, your Kangen Waterman, and I'm here today to go through video two, where we're going to explain the pH levels of these liquids that we've already tested. So remember, in video one, we tested the ORP, whether the liquid is causing stress to your body, more free radical damage to the cells, or whether it's an antioxidant to help reduce those cells and enjoy anti-aging. So what we've got here are some pH drops. So what I'm gonna do is go through all of these liquids and add pH drops in. So I'm gonna be counting as I go. There's a six in there. As you'll be able to tell, I'm a male, so I can only do one thing at once. One, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Six. Okay. So, oh, and then we've got the tap water, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Right, let's put them in there. And then what we've got is we've got a stick for the drinks. Okay, that's the tap water. I'm actually going to use the other end because I forgot to get a stick for that one. I'm going to put that in there. Just so that I don't contaminate in any way, shape or form. And also because there's always somebody who likes to say, well, you use the same stick in the same thing. So let's just get rid of any level of skepticism there. Put that in there. Remember, in video one, we covered the ORP test, so we were showing the, that these liquids, where they sit, and as we know, all of the liquids, right the way from here, were causing oxidative stress, causing damage to the body, creating more free radicals that are damaging the cells in the body. So remember that they're already, all of these liquids are an oxidant which is not what we want. So let's go through these. And what we're starting to notice is a bit of a rainbow, really. And we all like a bit of a rainbow. So let's do this. Now then, there we go. So here we have the pH chart at the top. We'll get to the chlorine one later on. Well, basically anything below seven Zero to seven is an acidity, okay? It's acidic. It's causing more acidic stress to your body and the body of your family members. Now then, anything around seven is neutral and over that is alkaline. So what I'm gonna do here is, first of all, I'll get into the tap water. Tap water is federally regulated to come out neutral to slightly alkaline because if it was acidic, it would be rusting through all the joints that connect the pipes. It would be rusting through the pipes in your home and it's actually full of chemicals. So a lot of chemicals are added to it. You'll find if you do a lot more research that those chemicals that are added to water will actually increase the pH level of it. Um, if you actually go and get a filtration system such as reverse osmosis that in many cases will remove most, if not all of the bad stuff in the water, it will take it down here and make it very, very acidic. So remember tap water will always come out that side because of all the chemicals, everything they've done to it. Now then, we see here the sports drink, very, very acidic. Whenever you put anything acidic in your body, your body releases electrolytes to neutralize that acidity, whether that be food or liquids. So when we are told to drink sports drinks to replenish electrolytes lost during the um, sport, our body then takes that drink, comes on in and it goes, hey, acidic, release electrolytes to neutralize the, the acidity. Very, very important and yet, we're being promoted to be drinking more acidic drinks during sport. And especially when we're doing sport, lactic and uric acid is created. And therefore, when that's created, the body is working hard and releasing those electrolytes to neutralize that acidity to help us recover faster so that we can perform and last longer on the pitch or wherever we may be. So all of a sudden, we're adding more acid, it's creating more problems. So we look at the pump. The pump is just down here. It's just acidic. So it's causing stress on the body as well as the oxidative stress. We've got the Mount Franklin that was floating around about neutral. It's just slightly between. So it's a better option 
compared to what we've already tested. We get here into the supermarket spring water, very, very acidic. Then we move on to the spring um, sparkling water, very acidic again. We've got the soda water, extremely acidic. It's no better with vodka and lime, I can tell you that right now. We've got the Puro, very acidic. You know, as this is, this is what's important. All these liquids are causing oxidative stress from here. They are all causing oxidative stress. And as we can see, some of them are also causing acidic stress. They're causing so much stress to the body and your body's over 70% water. Then here, we've got the supermarket water again, causing more acidic stress. Coconut water, very acidic. Yet if you get coconut water from a fresh coconut, it's actually neutral. Very important to be aware of. This once again comes back to clever marketing. When we think of coconut water, when we say the word coconut, we do not think of a coconut package like this. We think of an actual coconut. So very clever marketing. Balance cleanse, very acidic. People are buying this. Naturally, if you hear the words balance and cleanse, you're thinking health, good for me. Oxidant, acidic. We know the alkaline water must come out between nine and 10 because it's had minerals added to it. Now here's a really important thing. We've already tested this water and we know that it's an oxidant. It's aging your body when you choose to drink it. So yes, we know it's alkaline because it's had minerals added to it, but the concern around alkaline water is that the body is getting too many minerals in the form of water and therefore it can't cope with processing those minerals fast enough and they will calcify and create health issues over a long time. Also, if you are having a high, high alkaline diet in regards to your nutrition, then you have the fear really of taking your body into alkalosis, which is too alkaline. Therefore, you're gonna have some severe health issues as well. This water, yes, it comes out up here as 9.5 alkaline. However, we do not add any minerals to this. The actual mineral content of this water is 7.4. Therefore, when we test it, it comes out this color because of the reaction with the, um, with the drops, with the molecular hydrogen. This is perfectly balanced pH water with a very high antioxidant charge to help reduce that free radical damage. So we can see what's going on, on there with them. Let's have a bit of fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Kangen water that we've got in here, and let's just say I'm gonna pick a, pick a drink and I'm gonna pour some of this in here and look what just happened. So what we're looking at now is if you're drinking these liquids on a regular basis and your body's full of it, now naturally your body's gonna need more than that much in a cup. But when we start to introduce the Kangen water, we're able to start flushing out the toxic properties of this. So let's go right the way down to the end. And what you're probably gonna to start to notice is that the liquids, uh, the colors actually just start to get a little bit lighter with the ones that won't change. But you can see how we're able to change these fairly, fairly easily. Like this one, you can see it's going blue, then it's going back. Same again with that one. It's trying to change, but it's just not got the legs to change. We've managed to change. Coconut water, no. We've managed to change the balance. Um, cleanse and then we've got the tap water there which we can flush there look at the balance and cleanse look at how that's changed back it was orange before it went purple and it's changing it's going green it's going yellow it's trying to fight back I'll put that back in I'm getting it back up there now then let's imagine we come along and we're making a smoothie and we just say do you know what I'm gonna have some coconut water. Look at, look at how it just neutralized the health properties from the coconut water in there. Like this is what's really important that we become aware of because unfortunately, many of us are consuming liquids on a daily basis that are actually creating more stress in our body. Now, yes, yeah, some of these were um, almost neutral. Some, I think one or two maybe have been neutral. However, they're a very high oxidant. And the thing today is that the body's under so much stress because of the technology that's around us. The EMS from the lights, the microwaves, the phones, the laptops, everything that's going on that's causing more free radicals to age us and damage our body. And when we're consuming things on a regular basis that we have the power to control, 
we control what goes in here, then we are able to make a conscious decision to make sure we are drinking the right type of water, bathing in the right water, which you'll learn about later. I encourage you to look at the other education. So this is video two of three. We're gonna get into the next part of this where we're gonna talk about the ability of the Kangen water to absorb into your body far faster than any other water. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.